Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and welcome back to Unix Shell Programming Tutorial Series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about writing a shell program to find the sum of n numbers using for loop. Okay. So in my previous video, I have discussed everything about looping construct. If you guys have not seen that video, then I just recommend you guys to watch that video as well. So as I have said in this video, we will be discussing about making the sum of n numbers using for loop. So before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you got some useful and valuable information from this video, click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section. Now let us start our discussion. So as you can see here, the moment when this program gets executed, it will ask user to enter the limit, then let us say user enters 5. That means uh, our program needs to make the sum of numbers starting from 1 to 5 and we should get sum equals to 15. And we also need to display those 5 numbers also along with displaying the sum. Okay. So as I have said, I am going to do this program using for loop and the syntax of for loop I have already written it down on the board. Okay. So and in the last class also I had explained regarding this. So for loop has four parts initialization condition statements and then increment or decrement okay so uh, in this sequence only these each and every parts gets executed initially the initial initialization part gets executed then second condition gets checked then third statements present inside the for gets executed only if this condition becomes true then fourth increment or decrement gets performed okay uh, so uh, we want this output right so to get this output what do you think how many variables do we require so as you can see here i am asking a user to enter the value for the limit so to hold that value in our program we need to create a variable so let us say i will create a variable with a name n okay and since i am iterating from 1 to 5 so to run our for loop also we need to create one variable let us say the name of that variable is i okay and since at the end i am making the sum of these five numbers so we will be getting a sum which is our output right so to hold that output also we need to create a variable let us say i will create a sum variable okay now uh, to write this program first what we can do we need to initialize a value or an initial value to a sum variable and that value will be zero because for the first time whenever we will be making the sum of uh, one uh, we need to make that sum with an initial value that is zero zero plus one we will get one and then one plus two okay we will get three okay so one for initially zero plus one gets added and we will get one stored inside sum then in the second step one plus two gets added and we will get three then later on three plus three gets added we will get six and then later on six plus four gets added and we will get ten and then finally ten plus five gets added and at the end we will get fifteen as an output okay so this is our approach so we will be one by one adding the value of initial value of sum with each and every value of these numbers starting from 1 to 5 okay so now uh, since i am making the sum of these numbers starting from 1 to 5 so i should use a for loop okay i should use a for loop and that for loop should start with the initial value of i equals to 1 and how long we need to run that for loop until the value of i becomes less than or equals to 5 that means 5 times we need to execute that for loop so let us start okay as i have said we need to create a variable sum and we need to initialize a value of 0 to that variable and we should start a for then initialization so to make the initialization i have uh, created a variable i i i will start the for loop with initial value i equals to 1 next i need to check whether the value of i is less than our limit this is our condition right we need to does that second part i is less than or equals to 
n yes i value is 1 1 is less than or equals to 5 n value is 5 and i value is 1 1 is less than or equals to 5 condition true that's why control will come inside the inside this do or for loop where we will print this echo dollar i okay along with printing so i whenever i am printing dollar i that means the value of i which is 1 gets printed out here okay next i will make the sum to make the sum i will write this uh, sum is equals to dollar echo dollar sum plus dollar i pipe bc double quote okay and then close okay so now i am doing the sum sum is equals to echo sum is what sum is zero zero plus dollar i i is what one zero plus one gets added and we will get one stored inside sum okay so this is one way of making the sum we can use another way also okay so i will just comment this out i will use sum is equals to dollar to open brackets sum plus i okay like this also you can do both of these methods you can use to make the sum of uh, these numbers okay uh, suppose if you have not to use this then just comment it out and then use this then at the end done okay now uh, once these statements gets executed we will be getting the sum which is 1 then i value gets incremented okay i value was 1 now i becomes 2 okay i equals to 2 2 is less than equals to 5 condition becomes true that's why control will come inside the for loop to print the value of i 2 gets printed out and here sum gets performed. So let us consider this one. Okay, sum is what? Sum was 1 in last iteration. Now 1 plus i is what? i is 2. 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 will get 3. So now sum becomes 3. Next, after this, this is the fourth. i gets incremented again. i value becomes 3. Okay, for the value of i equals to 3, again this condition gets checked. 3 is less than or equals to 5, yes, condition becomes true, that's why control will come inside the for loop to perform the addition, sum, how, what was the value of sum, sum was 3, 3 plus i value is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6 and we will get sum as 6, okay, like this, with each and every iteration, the value of i gets incremented by 1 until the value of i becomes 5, now suppose the value of i becomes 5, i is 5, okay, 5 is less than or equals to 5, yes, condition true, that's why control will come inside the 4 to perform the addition, sum plus i, okay, so uh, by the fourth iteration, uh, sum was 10, okay, 10 plus 5, 10 plus 5, we will get 15, we will get 15 and 15 gets uh, printed here, okay, so we need to print here. Uh, at the end we will be having sum get stored inside the variable sum and we need to print that also so i will just print it out here dollar sum okay so this is how we can write a unix shell program to make the sum of n numbers okay so i will just use this program uh, or snippet to write the program so every shell program starts with the shebang statement so i will just write down that usr bin bash okay then we need to display this message enter the limit read space hyphen p space enter the limit n okay next i will start a for loop for space two brackets then i is equals to one semicolon i is less than or equals to n semicolon i plus plus do echo dollar i then okay i need to initialize sum right sum is equals to zero sum is equals to dollar bracket echo double quote dollar sum plus dollar i double quote close pipe bc suppose I will use other method, so I will use that sum is equals to dollar two brackets 
sum plus i two brackets closed okay so you can use any of these two methods done at the end i will print the sum uh, echo sum is equals to dollar sum okay and we will get this sum equals to 15 as an output okay so this is uh, what everything about uh, writing a unix shell program to make the sum of n numbers i hope you guys have understood this concept so this is the end of this video guys if you guys like this video or if you got some useful and valuable information from this video then click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section thanks for watching